Hi, I'm Graham Mitchell, um, and I'm an up-and-coming singer-songwriter from Rohini, Dublin. Um, and I've been playing around the circuit for the last couple of years. Um, and yeah. Um, I started playing music at a very young age, um, probably around second class in primary school. Um, and then I developed my guitar skills and I started to play in a band then when I was in secondary school for six or seven years. Um, and then the band split up um, and then I tried to sing and play guitar and since then I've been playing and writing music and recording music and releasing music um, and big inspirations for me would be bands like Oasis, The Beatles, Pink Floyd, um, The Arctic Monkeys, but I also love rap music as well, so B Smalls, Tupac, um, and really I listen to any type of music, if it gives me that kind of emotion and feeling, um, it's for me. Um, the first instrument I ever played was the guitar, and um, my dad started to teach me guitar um, when I was a little nipper, so uh, and then I started to play the piano um, and I started to do all the grades and academy stuff and it just wasn't for me. I love kind of playing freehand guitar and just learning by ear. So I mainly focused on guitar. God, um, the first song I ever wrote was a song when I was about 18 called Macho Man. Um, and it's not the hit song Macho Macho Man. <laughs> It's the one that, uh, it's a song, basically, I just sat down with a couple of chords and wrote it just from the heart, just about, you don't always need to be that macho person in life, or that big kind of ego, or um, that kind of person who always wants to be the best. It's just a song about being you as a person, so for an 18 year old, it was quite a serious song to write. That's a tough question because I've written a lot of songs over the last couple of years and I'm still writing a lot of songs. Um, I have to say a lot of the new material I'm writing, I love a lot of the new so songs, material, kind of recordings. I have a song called Who Came Up With Love that hasn't been released but um, will hopefully come out in 2024. Um, but other than that, um, previous songs that I've released would be songs like You've Disappeared, Be Alright, um, Fantasy Breakup, and they're all on Spotify to stream and stuff. So, um, but yeah, they'd be, if I was to pick one, probably Be Alright. It's a toughie. I don't want to be pinpointing anyone. What do I love most about the music industry um, is probably the most important part for me and well, I love writing, I love writing lyrics, um, I love, I just love music, you know, I love the emotion it gives you and I love listening to music and I love hearing new music from different artists and I love meeting new people on the music scene, that's really important to me and um, I think it's so important for new artists and artists who've been around for years to meet new artists and old artists because I think as much as it has been a competition in the past, I don't think that's there anymore. I think it's, I think it's really important for just people to connect and be friends and, you know, just enjoy each other's company. Well, for me, that's the way it is. But, and I love playing live. You know, I love performing in front of a crowd and um, hearing crowd singer songs. It's really special and it's there's no high like it. Um, and what do I hate most about the music industry? Um, there's not a lot I hate about the music industry. Um, I'd say that it's kind of gotten to a stage where a lot of artists, I think, feel that they need to be signed and um, they have to have labels and stuff underneath them, um, which I don't think is the case. I think a lot of artists have gone independent. Um, and the other side of it is kind of, you don't really make a lot of money off original music. 
when you're playing kind of cover gigs and stuff, that's where kind of the money is. If you play around Temple Bar or the bar scenes or in pubs, like cover gigs. Um, but I really love the original scene, so it's difficult to make music, and that's what I don't hate, but um, I wish there was more kind of an outlet for artists like myself and all my friends and who are singer songwriters and artists and bands to make a bit more money um, off the music scene. That's a tough question. <laughs> um, I think anyone can really play um, music. Anyone can play music if they put their their mind and really the most important thing is passion and um, their heart to it and they give it their all like if they practice not that I get a chance to practice every day but when I do practice I really love practicing and I think the most important thing to be a musician is to love what you do it doesn't matter about getting anywhere or playing Crow Park or playing the Tree Arena or as long as you love what you're doing and you could be a musician just writing lyrics and you don't sing but you're still you're still growing a passion for something it's like someone who loves to read they don't read to be the best reader in the world they read for their own enjoyment you know so i think that's a really poor, important part and um, to being a musician i think it's just put your heart and your soul into everything you have um, and don't expect much from it from it and um, just do it for the love of it Apart from my family and um, my friends, I think music is probably one of the most important parts of my things in my life. Um, I think it was really difficult over the COVID period to not be out there playing music. As much as I got to listen to music and hear new music, really there wasn't a lot of new music out there, but after COVID, um, I think a lot went on in my life that music saved my life, really, in a sense. Um, I think it's it's just a part of me. It's like a, another organ for me. Um, and without it, I think I'd be really lost without it. I have so many um, musicians I love. Um, I have so many artists I love. Um, one of my favorite musicians ever is a guy called Dave Gilmore. He is the lead, or he was the lead singer and lead guitarist for a band called Pink Floyd. Um, and myself and my dad, my dad kind of got me into Pink Floyd and I just love their music. It just gives me a certain emotion. Um, um, but other than that, I love, as I said, Oasis, Liam and Noel. Um, the Beatles, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Arctic Monkeys, Alex Turner, I think he's an amazing artist, I think he's an amazing lyricist. Um, but there's a lot of oldies, like as I said, I listen to a lot of rap, like Biggie Smalls, um, who aren't with us anymore, unfortunately. Um, but they've left a mark on the music scene, um, Tupac, uh, there's just so many but there's also in Ireland like the likes of Damien Dempsey who is just I have a soft spot for him I've played with Damien um, a couple of times and he aside from being an absolute amazing musician lyricist and just a idol in the, the Irish music scene and um, he's a gentleman you know so I think that's really important as well for if you are to ever meet a musician, um, like he is an absolute gentleman and it's really kind of comforting to get that from someone. Um, but yeah, there's just so many musicians and everything out there that I just, I love, to, I love music too much to pick one. Biggest achievement, I'm kind of like, I'm, my personality is kind of a bit too professional perfectionistic at times but um like in terms of 
music, just kind of writing songs, recording songs and releasing songs. I see that as an achievement. Um, but I'm always striving to, to do better or write better or uh, write a better song. Or, and it kind of frustrates me when I get stuck at a point and I kind of I co-write with a friend of mine, which is really the most enjoyable hour or two of the week it's so so enjoyable and it's like playing sport for me it's like putting the training in and when a song comes out and develops it's just incredible um, and I see that as a huge achievement but then I've also finished up a tour um, in April with Damien Dempsey and um, I know I've mentioned him earlier on and um, but some of the venues we played we played the set theatre in Kilkenny um, Castle Bar, the Royal Theatre there in Mayo, Dunboyne Castle, um, Cork, the Leppin, which is a well, um, I think it's the Leppin, yeah it is, it's Connolly's anyway, um, but it's a well known venue, um, so all these, like you're being brought around by these, like Damien in particular, like this massive artist, um, who's allowing you to support them on their tour, and I just think, that's such an achievement in itself to be able to see this and like probably the biggest achievement for me is getting off stage and an absolute stranger coming up to you like I got it once or twice in Kilkenny and Castlebar and Mayo and even like in Lep and Dunboyne where you come off stage and even if it's just one person they say to you wow that was such a good gig or I actually really love that song you played as it released. Like you feel like high as a kite. Like it's like no other drink. Don't do drugs. Um, but uh, I don't drink either actually, I'm only asking. Um, but it, it's it's actually like the biggest high in the world. It's like on a, it's like going downhill on the roller coaster. It's when someone says that to you, it's like, wow, can you imagine like playing your own show to like this person multiplied by the amount of people here tonight and all singing back your songs like and that's what I strive to achieve you know Um, I'll probably never reach that point of I found my achievement or I've I feel like I've achieved I think you're always achieving with music or in anything you do like if you're in any career if you're a doctor if you're a lawyer if you're you're always striving for that next achievement so I think, yeah, that's that's really me in a sense. <laughs> no, I'm retiring. <laughs> um, no, uh, I'm absolutely delighted because I've been in the studio all summer from May to September, I think. So we started recording on the 8th of May and finished in September. And hint, hint, nudge, nudge, there might be an album on the way in 2024. Um, it's a lot of the songs are kind of working themselves around and being mixed and mastered after the recording. Um, but I've got some mixes back and I am so excited about it. Like I'm, I don't think I've ever felt, I have always felt a buzz from the songs I've released and a massive satisfaction. And, but I think I'm hearing this new kind of sound that's developing for me. And I'm really, really, really buzzing. I'm excited about it. Um, so keep an eye out for 2024 uh, for new stuff. You can find me on, and also follow my uh, Spotify. It's Graham Mitchell. Um, I have a lot of singles there that have been released. Um, I think there's about eight, and there's a little Christmas EP there as well. Um, but uh, there's a lot of the old material there. They've couple of them have been added to playlists which has like boosted the streams massively um, and if you want to find me on social media it's Graham Mitchell Music on Instagram, Graham Mitchell Music on Facebook, um, Graham Mitchell Music on TikTok and I think it's at Graham Mitchell on Twitter. I don't use Twitter that much um, but um, I pop in now and again to say hello. Um, but if you just type in Graham Mitchell kind of music or songs or whatever, I should come up anywhere, like even on Google. Um, but it's always a pleasure when someone new listens to your music or follows your page or follows your Spotify or anything like that. And 
I'll be announcing a couple of gigs next year and whoever ends up listening to this interview, um, I, hope, I really hope that you can make it along because it's sure to be a great one.